you hi peeps, it's Tess back in all squat box again and I'm talking about uh, religion, God, that sort of bullshit. Right? So, a lot of uh, Christians say that God created the universe and I say that's bullshit. Nobody knows how the universe arrived, you know what I mean, as the universe. What we do know is uh, the universe does exist now. Uh, there's absolutely nothing written in any Bible, any Quran, any holy book, anywhere in the world that describes how God made the universe, other than, I think, uh, the most sort of well-known uh, you know, creation of the universe is God created this, God created that, God said let there be light, blah blah blah, you know. But that's not how the universe was created. That would have been how a solar system would have been created. And that would have been the most the most well-known uh, objects in the sky would have been described by people who only seen the most mm, closest objects in the sky. We didn't even know there was other galaxies out there in the universe, other than our galaxy, until we got to a certain stage of technology. So, there's no religious book written on the earth today that describes the creation of the universe. None. Hardly any of them even consider how the, the galaxy was created. They only talk about the creation of the earth and the solar system. The earth, the sun and the stars. You could say, well, the stars are the galaxy that we you live in. Yeah, but then again, the stars could just be you know, holes poked in a firmament. Nobody knows. No book, no religious fucking you know, text mentions anything about the creation of a universe. They only mention the creation of the land, water, and the, the, the sky that we see above us. Which is basically the solar system you live in. With projections out to dots and, and the, the firmament, as they call it in some books. You know, or it can be construed as you know, the firmament. So, there's no real history of God creating anything other than, than the small planet we live on and even then they weren't talking about a planet, they were only talking about the, the land that we stand on. These books were written by people who stood on a piece of land and looked up in the sky and seen dots and occasionally seen a sunrise and a sunfall moonrise and a moonfall and eventually, eventually seen what they thought were stars but then proceeded to think were actual planets within the solar system. That's, that's the most you can get out of any religious book. So no religious book tells us about the formation of more than a solar system. And yet now we have come to the conclusion, no provable conclusion, with our technology that uh, not only is there a solar system, but the solar system resides in a galaxy, and that galaxy is just one of many galaxies within the universe. So. This is the state of affairs today. 
we today, whether you're religious or non-religious, understand that we, with, we live on a planet in a solar system within a galaxy or many galaxies within a universe, which no religious book has ever talked about. And besides the point of every one of these religious books saying if you desecrate the name of God uh, you will be struck down dead or deserve to be murdered by others who hear you say it within the religious sanctuary. And many times I've said, fuck you God. If you exist, you're a fucking prick in Alanka. Strike me down dead now. You can't go on. Fuck you. Don't believe in you. You never existed. Never will exist. There's no gods. And I'm 51. I've been saying this since I was fucking 8 year old, man. 8, 12 year old, you know what I mean? Somewhere between 8 and 12 year old. I've been saying that. Fuck you, God. Fucking strike me down now. What, what is it torturing me by making me live a long life? A <laughs> long and enjoyable, fucked up, you know, retarded, full of sex life. Is, is that, is that what he's doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, it's people dying at five year old age, you know, holes in the heart and shit, you know. Poor kids are never done nothing wrong and probably brought them. Catholic and Protestant homes to believe in them. They're the people who he kills, takes up in his heaven. <laughs> but an old beardy fucker like me who decries him and says he doesn't exist and calls down his wrath. Kill me now, you motherfucker, you don't exist. Never a bolt of lightning from this guy. I'd love to experience that, by the way, you yeah. know. So, we have the idea that the uh, religious books only talk of basically a solar, solar system, but we now know there's a universe out there. The crazy people who live today who believe in religion are trying to quantify the crap that's written about to say, well, it wasn't just the solar system that they really meant, uh, no, the firmament meant the, the universe, you know what I mean? But, but there was nothing in it about that. These sheep herders the shagging goats and shit in the middle of the desert, they didn't know shit about fucking, you know, you know Alpha Centauri and beating guys, they didn't know shit about that, you know. They didn't know anything about the fucking background radiation, you know what I mean? Telling us how large the universe was and the spread of matter through the universe. They didn't know nothing about that. We, with our fucking brains, against the fucking tide of, you know, stupidity and dumbness, religion has tried to foist upon the human race for the last fucking, you know, 10,000, 20,000 years, fuck them, you know, yeah, we've grown past and above that and they keep coming back with that bullshit, you know. But he's a kicker. If a god did exist, just take this as an example. If a god did exist and made millions of fucking suns, billions of suns, trillions of fucking suns, billions of galaxies with trillions upon trillions of suns, and probably trillions of trillions of billions of planets. Why wouldn't he put 
by my God, is on every single one of them. Surely, if he wants worshipped, he would want the most amount of worshippers. Wouldn't God want, well, there's what, seven, eight billion worshippers, possible worshippers on earth? He's possibly created trillions of planets. Wouldn't he want trillions of planets to be covered with billions of worshippers? Wouldn't he give the Bible or the Quran to every single planet? Wouldn't every single planet have a Jesus and a, what do you call him? I can't remember his name. Um, no, the, the Muslim guy. <laughs> and and uh, a Confucius, you know. And, uh, oh yeah, a Muhammad. Muhammad, no, Muhammad and a Jesus and a Confucius and, you know, would, wouldn't every single solar system that he created have, uh, you know, Muhammad and a Jesus and a Confucius and, a, you know, whatever else, you know, the crazy religious but wouldn't, wouldn't all of them have somebody trying to tell you about religion? Wouldn't you populate all of them? I mean, surely just Earth's population of 8 billion, surely that wouldn't be enough worshippers to keep them happy. Surely every single planet that he produced would have people on it, you know? So why, why is Mars barren? Why are all the other planets in our solar system barren? Why didn't they make the, the, the Goldilocks zone large enough to incorporate all the planets in our universe so that every planet could be populated with worshippers to make his name great? Why is there only one? Why, why would a God make a universe so vast and expansive and only put one single planet there with one single species out of the hundreds of millions of species with enough intelligence to build churches and pray to them and then only let a billion of them Bound of the eight billion of one species worship the true God, why didn't he just produce a planet with 50 trillion insects who all worship God? It would be much simpler, wouldn't it? Just imagine if he didn't have to depend on human beings or deer or buffalo, or zebra, or elephants, or crocodiles. Maybe not even ants. I mean, what if he just left us at the microbial stage? Single-celled organisms. Fifty billion trillion single-celled organisms all believing in God. Why did we have to get to this stage of Evolution, you know, this stage of life. Why, why did, why did it have to have Adam and Eve? Why couldn't it just have been a sludge, a puddle of goo, worshiping them, and then that goo just grew and covered the whole planet? And he maybe could have done that with every planet in the universe. Yeah. And why just stick it one universe? Why not? a trillion billion universes covered in goo that all worshipped him. I mean, wouldn't that suffice God? Because apparently that's what he wants. He just wants you to worship him. He just wants you to pray and then you die after doing good things or basically not doing any bad things that he says is bad things, you know. 
parts of mind can it just be single-celled organisms across the whole universe, across multiple universes, who love God. I mean, God basically is powerful enough to make a single-celled organism intelligent enough to realise that God exists and have free will, but choose to worship Him. He's gone after all. So why did we have to become so complex? Why did we have to become more complex than, you know, a snail? More complex than a hummingbird? More complex than a dog? More intelligent than a horse? You know, why did, why did, why did us, why did we have to evolve? Why did, why did it we, why did it have to have Adam and Eve? to worship him. Why couldn't it just have been a lump of goo that spread it for, and just think, mm, single cell organisms are so tiny, you can get much more, than, more of them into the square foot. Whereas, what you have, us, us big gigantic, thumping, lumbering, stupid things who, you know, go to war and murder people who might believe in them. No, I mean, I'm an atheist, but if I was signed up to the army and went in another country you know, and shot somebody who believes in God, I'm taking God's worshipper away from him, and yet I survive. Like, look at what happened in the Second World War, the First World War, the Iraq War, the, what's going on in the Afghanistan War. The, there's people there who must be worshipping God who are being killed now. God's losing worshippers rather than gain up. I mean, there's bound to be atheists over there shooting good Christians, you know what I mean? Why did they allow the British Empire to go around the world murdering people who could have been, become good Christians if the British Army hadn't killed them, you know what I mean? Why did God allow that? Where are they for all just lumps of goo? The whole planet was just covered in a huge, gigantic slick of one celled organism glue that believed and worshipped God. That would have been the most simple thing for God to do. Why did he go all the way down the road of being you know, complicated and shit and inventing humans? Doesn't make any sense. I mean, even as a god, I could come up with a better plan for the universe than what gods can come up with. And I'm just a stupid drunken Scotsman, you know. You know that bullshit. God moves in mysterious ways. God doesn't move. I've never seen. I've never seen God anywhere. I've never seen him move across the landscape. I've never seen him move the landscape. I've never seen him do anything. You know, I've seen good things and bad things happen. But there's never been one that you could say, that's definitely got the fingerprint of God on it. Not a single one. There is evidence for God. There's basically no evidence for God, is there? No evidence for God whatsoever. Not a jot of evidence. And me being a Gnostic atheist, I know God doesn't exist. Where is the evidence against God? can't provide evidence, you know what I mean, well, it's not what you can go out there and you'll find, you know, there's a big slab saying God doesn't exist, written by a thunder fired, for, well, that would actually be proof there's some kind of God, wouldn't it, so that's obviously not there, you know what I mean, and that's my evidence that there's no God, my evidence for there being no God is I'm 51 year old, and I've been saying all my life 
straight be dead, God, if you just, you motherfucking prick, sucking cock, fucking, you know, fanny sucking, you know, ass licking, you know, can't, you know what I mean, go on, straight be dead now, go on, go on, you've got the power of it, God, if you just, drug taker and a drug dealer. I've done all sorts of horrible things in my life. God's never interceded. He's never spoke to me, he's never threatened me, he's never came down and struck me. I'm still here, you know what I mean? I mean I've been a total fucking hard ass fucking shit cunt motherfucker sometimes in my life. To people, you know, I've never been punished for it. As long as the, the civil law didn't catch me, don't get me wrong, I've been in jail. <laughs> I went to prison for some of the things I did when I got caught. But I didn't get caught for everything. And there was no intersection, in the, in the sequence of God, anywhere down the line. Not a bit of it. So why have I not been struck by lightning? Why doesn't God hate an atheist like me and strike me down dead? And he doesn't exist. There is no God. There's no gods. There's no magic men in the skies. There's no magic creepy things watching you through the walls of your room or no. There's no gods in the world, man. There's none. Not a one. There's no even half gods. There's no even baby gods or child gods. <laughs> God hasn't suddenly turned his head away and missed what I did. <laughs> it just doesn't exist. You know? There is no fucking God. There's no God. The big man in the sky with a hammer, Thor, doesn't exist. Aphrodite, the beauty who sits by the river and pretends she's a tree, doesn't exist. Allah. None of them exist. They don't exist anywhere else except in man's mind. And I've proved this many times by coming on here on YouTube and saying, Go on then, Yahweh, God, Allah, straight me down dead for calling you a complete fucking asshole. You're a complete cunt. You're one of the worst fucking ideas that the fucking mankind has ever had. If you ever existed, then you're a fucking figment now in real life. So fuck you. Straight me down dead. Go on. Fucking kill me. And I'm still here. 51 fucking years. To cry in the nature of God, the idea of God, the existence of God. And everything, all these books that these people promise you are the truth, the light, the word of God. All say that if I do that, I'm doomed. God will strike me dead. Dear God, strike me dead for that bullshit, you know what I mean? But they're crying him and saying, Allah oh, doesn't exist, he's just a figment. There's no such thing as Allah, there's no such thing, such thing as Yahweh, after all the murders that he fucking produced. There's no such thing as Jesus, he never existed. There's no such thing as God or the Holy Spirit. It's all fucking bullshit crap. Made up bullshit and crap. Murder me, kill me. Strike me down now if 
for a fucking roll. I've been doing and seeing this for fucking 51 fucking years. I mean, and the worst you can do is put up the price of scotch. Every couple of years, there's a few pence put on the, the price of a bottle of scotch. That's the worst that God has been doing to me over the years, you know what I mean? He's been making my drink cost me more. Oh, such a burden. Such a burden. Oh, damn you to hell, God. <laughs> I'm just sitting here. I'm laughing because that's what... I that's, I'm supposed to be down to hell. Down you to hell, God. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. You're going, God. Fuck me up. <laughs> Go on, God. Do your worst. Fuck me up, God. Do your worst. No, give me a buzz, you fucker. <laughs> I'm only <really> joking. <laughs> Motherfucker. Yeah, if only I could cough my lung and die. Oh, uh. <laughs> Never gonna happen. All you Christians out there praying for me to die. <laughs> <laughs> Stop wasting your fucking time. <laughs> I've pumped so many drugs through my system. If I was going to drop down dead, I've done it by now. So Stop wasting your time, you know. Go out and read a book. Go on. Other than the Bible that you normally fucking read, you know. Read a book, you know. Read. read fucking Tom Clancy or something. You know. Have some fucking joint in your life, you know what I mean? Oh my God, those big muscular men running around beating people up and winning the day and all that. Yeah, go on, read a fucking book for fuck's sake, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? That's where it comes to me. You know, what you're working at life, you know? Somebody tell me that uh, nothing exists except with some fictitious, crazy, ideological man in the sky makes it exist. Or all the fucking shit that happens to you in your real life that he never ever answers and never cures and never fixes, no matter how much you fucking pray. Oh, please, God, dear God, help me. Please just help me, just this once, just please help me, you know. Never an answer. Never. You're on your fucking own. Well, you're not on your own. You're only on your own if you think God's going to help you. But if you actually look around and get one of your neighbours, no matter what they think, what they believe, or what they're doing with life, you get one with them, you help them out, and they help you, that, that that's a community. That that's that's what human beings do. You motherfucker. You religious motherfuckers. You the fucker that's alone. You're alone because your God doesn't exist, but you desperately cling on to that possibility that if I just pray another two times today, it, it might answer my prayer. You know what I mean? The fucking Muslims pray five times a fucking day. They still die and drop dead by heart attacks. You know what I mean? So where's their fucking God? Well, he's not there, obviously. You're a Christian, you're thinking, well, obviously there's the wrong God that's putting you. So pray five times a day to your God. Go to your church five times a day, seven days a week, and, and tell me in fucking a month's time whether that fucking time is well spent or whether you're just wasting your fucking time. Shit and pissing up a wall, you know what I mean? 
guarantee you if you do that for a month, Jews Christians back here next month saying you have just wasted <laughs> five prayers a day, seven days a week. <laughs> Four, five weeks, you know, back here. God's never answered my prayers. He must have either went deaf or maybe too many people praying because they've listened to us. <laughs> So there you go, religious motherfuckers, whatever, crazy fucks, stupid cunts, still praying to God and just fucking live your fucking life for fuck's sake. I'm lucky if we get 75 years. We used to just get about fucking 58, we're all fucking heart attacked and dead by then, you know. So I'm 51, I've got seven years left. I look worried. I don't believe in God. I look worried. I've only got average seven years left to live. Nah. Not a bit of it. Do you know why? Because I fucking know that I'm going to live to 106. Do you know how? Because when I was fucking, what, 18, not 21, 21 year old, I had some of the best acid I've ever had in my life. <laughs> Orange Michael Dot man. Oh. I had a cough with him one night, man. And I tell you, I met myself. I met myself when I call my shit hands with myself, but I wouldn't just shake hands with myself, my me and myself. I was shaking hands with myself and there was two others come in and, and we were, there was four of us, you know, like shaking hands with each other. And it was they were all me. It was me shaking hands with all four of myself. You know what I mean? It, it was a mind blown experience on acid, man. Absolutely incredible because my, my mind just exploded and I zoomed up and in every street corner around me for miles there was four of me shaking hands with each other. It was like, oh, you know, can you imagine seeing that in your mind, you know? And then I had to watch logs, logs full of smelling people who I was yet to meet in my life, you know, full of them, you know, all sailing down the, 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 the motorway under the bridge below me, you know, and it was like, and I know that this is true, this is true. Because I remember some of the faces that were in the logs at that time when I was 21. And I didn't meet those people until I was like, you in my, my 30s and stuff. But I distinctly remember the faces. And during that time, when I was having that acid experience, I knew within my heart, I'm going to live till I'm 106. I'm 51 now. So I've got 55 years to go. Imagine what I'm going to look like here on YouTube, doing YouTube videos when I'm 106 years old. <laughs> and if you think I'm crazy now, well, just imagine how crazy I'm going to be then. So I'm just fucking bad, motherfuckers. I'm wondering as well, just before I sign off, I'm wondering where am I going to get the acid that I foresee that I use in the future? Because I know I do. That's another thing I see in and, uh, the trip I was experiencing. I know I, I do use LSD of a good quality, but it was never exposed to me where I got it from. I'm just wondering, I'm just wondering where, where the good drugs that I take later in my life. I'm 51 now and I'm saying I'm late in my life, but I know that when I'm 70 and 80 year old I'm going to be taking a few of your good drugs. I'm just wondering, does the British government eventually, you know, legalise drugs? Or do I move to a country that legalises drugs? 
because I know one of these two things are going to happen. It wasn't divulged to me you know, specifically in, in the, the, the acid trip that I had, but I know that I you know in my way of life I am getting really fucked up and enjoying it, which is actually part of why I live a long life. So. I do, I do eventually go off of uh, drinking tobacco and because tobacco becomes available in a, a lozenge, <laughs> I, I suck lozenges and I suck LSD and by the way I also have uh, cannabinoid meals. Soup is in my my vision. You know. Swansea.